Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about old play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. The last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started off Amy's story and we got all the way over to here to the egg carrier where we saw another decal scene. And now we're going to head out here and see what else there is to do. is doing. He's always rescuing me, it seems. I should be more independent. You know you sure surprised me by having a Chaos Emerald with you. No wonder they were after you, my feathered friend. Hey, a pendant! Wow! So I'll help you find your family. Does Eggman have some cap 
active now? I bet he does. So I'll help you find your family. I've come this far. I may as well go all the way. That robot said Dr. Eggman's base is in the Mystic Ruins. So what do you say we check it out? Okay, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about right now. First of all, I love how that while Amy is having that conversation with the bird about the pendant and stuff like that. Meanwhile, Station Square is being attacked with a nuke. Or a missile, sorry. Second of all, I've never talked about this thing before, but basically you can enter this part and there's a raft that only pops up now and it'll lead you back to the egg carrier crash site. So you can visit this area whenever you want. And I'm actually visiting this because there's a thing that I can only get now where we want to head back to the room with that fun game. I love how in the photo inside the bird's pendant, there's a in the photo he, he's wearing the pendant with the photo inside. It kind of reminds me of that one image of the yearbook with a picture of kids holding the yearbook with the picture of the kids holding the yearbook with the picture of the kids holding. You get the gist. Also an interesting thing to note is that time is a bit weird when it comes to comparing one character's story to another because in the previous episode after Amy left Twinkle Park. She got kidnapped by Zero and immediately got taken to uh, Mystic Ruins. Which means that either A, Amy was in Twinkle Park for a day, or at least around that time, so long that it was the next evening when she came out and immediately got kidnapped by Zero. Or B, sometime in between Zero kidnapping Amy and Zero being on the train tracks, Sonic did all of that stuff in between Twinkle Park and, you know, seeing that cutscene, which doesn't make sense, so more than more likely than not, or more likely is that Amy spent an entire day in Twinkle Park. Anyways, now we want to go back here and try our best to get a high score. Wait, did I actually get that? Forget the exact score I need to get. Yes, I got it! Okay, if you get, I believe, at least 3,000 points on that, you get the long hammer. Here's the long hammer. Your attack radius is now increased. Try the spin hammer attack. So, yeah, now we have a much bigger radius when it comes to this, so... If you want, you can get a really high score on that, but I don't want to spend my time on that. Anyways, I'll go ahead and cut back to the Mystic Ruins. There we go. We're back on the raft to Mystic Ruins. Also, a thing to note is that, you know that beach that's over in the center of Station Square? Well, on it, there's a dock, and there's actually a boat that also leads to the egg carrier. And to get to the station, to get to Station Square from the egg carrier, you have to look for the boat on the opposite side of the egg carrier. I don't know how many times I just said egg carrier, but it was a lot. So we want to head to the the Eggman base over in the jungle over here. At least I believe. Is it the jungle or like the forest or something like that? Or am I just calling it something really weird? I really like the way this base looks though, whatever it's called, because I like all of the flashing lights, and I enjoy, I don't know how to describe it, let me get over there so I can show you. I like, it looks like a small little city down there at the base of the base. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but it just looks like Eggman's really starting to make his promise to build Robotnik land, and this is where he's starting to conquer the world. Hmm, I 
remember this bridge. Looks dangerously suspicious. Wanna go? Let's go. Of course, we've got everything in here now. And I believe we still have to do this puzzle over again with all of the buttons. Yeah. So I'll just do this again. Hopefully it won't take too long. Oh, I did it right. There we go. Welcome to the final egg, which funnily enough isn't the final level. <gasps> Not you again! Zero followed us all the way here. I don't know how he did it, but he survived the egg carrier crash and made his way over here. You know what, Mr. Opportunity, maybe if they remake the Sonic Adventure games, that they could do this. But I'd love to see Zero damaged by the egg carrier crash. And what I mean by that is that his character model is physically wrecked. Like, you know, parts of him are missing or, you know, blown up and stuff like that. But he's still going after Amy over and over because that's the orders that it was given by Robotnik. Ah! I would love to see a Sonic Adventure remake. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'd love to see a Sonic Adventure remake with the cutscene style of Sonic Unleashed, because those were some those are some really good cutscenes. I haven't personally played the game myself because I don't have a way to play the actual version on the PS3 and the Xbox One. I believe that's the other console. Hey guys, this is me from the future, and I just came here to quickly tell you guys that I was talking about stuff, but I didn't really get my point across that well. Basically what I was going to say is that people are getting mad that Sonic Frontiers is reusing level designs for its special stages, but I don't really see this as an issue. While I do think that it's weird that they're reusing the level, like, one for one, I still think it it's fine because special stages have never really dictated the quality of the Sonic game. Like, look at Sonic 2. Great game with bad special stages. Plus the special stages are gonna be optional, so. One of these doors is the right one. Indeed, one of these doors is the right one. It's the one over on the right, I believe. Or no, actually. Uh, I guess it's randomized. I never knew this. But, yeah, I guess it's just randomized, and during one of my test playthroughs, I got it on the right, and I, I had that pun prepared, I was like, it is the right one, but no, it was the second one to the right. Okay, we've got to use the hammer jump. There we go. Oh, and hey, the level's all over already. I guess I'm just expecting much longer levels after what happened in the hot shelter. Hey guys, it's me from the future again, and I just wanted to come in real quick and say that originally I ended off the video here and then started the next episode and was going to have that be the ending to Amy's story, but once I actually got finished recording that video, I realized that 
the video was way too short. It was only like five minutes, and I don't want you guys to wait 24 hours for a five minute video. So I'm just gonna stitch the two videos together and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so now that I had to move through the jungle at a snail's pace and climb up the ladder at an e climb up a ladder at an even slower speed, we're back at the egg carrier using that raft that I was talking about earlier. It's the final boss fight against Zero. So, now our goal is to... It's a pretty classic setup for a boss fight. We just gotta bump him into the edge. But, you know, not as good at games when I'm let's playing them, so... You bump him in there, and then you hit that light atop of his head and then he just starts jumping around It can take a while before he's vulnerable to hammer attacks. Finally, there we go. Oh god, jeez. Ah. I'm not very good at that part. You gotta be very good. I think you have to go along with it as well. And that's the end of Zero. And also the end of Amy's story.
try my best too. And that's the end of Amy's story. Pretty short, only two episodes. But yeah, that was pretty good. I personally really enjoyed the endings of Tails and Amy's stories because you can really feel them growing as characters. Tails learns to not always live under Sonic's shadow and he has to be his own person. And Amy learns that, you know, she doesn't need Sonic. She's pretty powerful on her own as you... Did you see how far she just hit zero at the end of that cutscene. Anyways, this was real fun, and I'll see you guys in the next episode for Big the Cat, everyone's favorite character.